97.1, the fan. Uh, JT Barrett having one of those Rushman shirts. <laughs> I didn't know he had one. How do you feel about it now? I think he deserves it, of anyone on offense. Do you have any personal goals this week after not really being able to get after the passer a week ago? Uh, my goals are always to have multiple sacks. I thought that was my phone. I was like, what is that? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. Definitely the goal of the unit is to get ha have at least seven sacks. So we'll see. This is a, a team that doesn't give up many sacks. I mean, they only gave up ten all last year, and I think it's only one this year. What does UNLV do up front so long? Uh, I just think the not as much the O-line's talent, but the the quarterback is really athletic, and he takes it when he doesn't when he sees it closing, he takes off. So uh, that's the biggest thing. But I think we'll be able to win one-on-ones all game. Nick, I know you guys had talked about delaying the Oklahoma film until after Army because you had to deal with Army first. What was it like when you guys got back and started going over that film? It was frustrating. Uh, but, I mean, I think we've moved on pretty well. Didn't go as planned, and we didn't play very good in the second half, so we're just moving on. Do you, did you learn a lot from it, or is it just like, hey, we just need to be better. We know what we're supposed to do. Yeah, it's just playing faster. and not, I mean, they have a kind of confusing offense for our reads, so we were playing kind of slow and letting the guys latch onto us. So. When we let it fly, we could beat it. We could beat anybody. So. Does having Greg Schiano field level make any difference to you? Do you notice a different vibe on the sideline there? Oh, on the field? Yeah. yeah. He's he's crazy. <laughs> he was actually calling the plays <laughs> last week. Um, but yeah, it, he's fun to have on the sideline. It's, it's funny when we go in the locker room and he's up in the in the boot in the booth. He just comes sprinting out at halftime, just like all. He has like five minutes and he just screams for the entire five minutes and then runs away. But having him on the sideline is better. I like it. Nick, we finally got a chance to see Tough Borland, a guy you came in with. Um, what are your impressions of Tough Borland? Not just the way he played against Army, but just what have you seen from him in the last year and a half? He's just your typical hard-nosed middle linebacker football player that, like the play caller, the guy you go to when, you, like, if you don't know the play, just ask Tough. He'll, he'll get you right. But, uh, He's just, I mean, when it comes to stuffing the run, he's as good as it gets, I think. And I think once he gets his opportunity next year when the older guys leave for the NFL, he'll be really good, definitely. He might be a big part of the team this year. You never know, Yeah, right? I mean, I think he's going to play a lot more now. That I mean, He was big on special teams this year, but now it's kind of hard to keep him off the field. Nick, do you see, and I know Army's a completely different deal, but just... Do you see offensive lines or game plans trying to deal with you any differently than when you were a freshman? I mean, as you get older and you establish more of a reputation, do things change? Uh, I mean, it's kind of tough when you have other guys that could rush too. But uh, occasionally I see a run going the other way or something. But, uh, I mean, we have such depth that it's kind of hard to single up on one guy. Because you remember when your brother got triple teamed, right? I mean, yeah, he his junior year he was in trouble because he came out with a, like five sacks, but he was still clearly one of the best players in the country. But you're not seeing any of that yet, any extra attention? Ah, uh, we'll see. Huh? Maybe, maybe later in the year. Nick, you had said one of your frustrations last year was you weren't getting in a rhythm in games. With the rotation that you have now, are you finding that you are able to get in a rhythm, or is that still something that you're working on? I think Indiana game, we had so many plays, and uh, that I was I was really starting to feel it. Uh, Oklahoma, I think I was get, getting pretty well. It was just kind of a big game. Big game jitters was kind of got me in the beginning, but uh, I think it's it's better. I'm getting a lot more plays, and it's starting to come to me. I'm just starting to have fun. Is this kind of offense you guys find a more better sink your teeth into? I mean, uh, yeah. Explain what that mean. Uh, what that changes about? I guess your attitude. Just you know? play fast, and I mean, one thing about Army, it's not fun. To, not fun for anybody. I mean, you're stuffing a dive every single play. So, especially the scout team all week, it's 
It's not a fun thing to do, so this week we're, we're ready to let it fly. Who, who, who just catches your eye across the, across the ball over there for now? Yeah. Quarterback, for sure. He's a big, tall athlete. Yeah. So now that it's back to normal, how do you think this defense can play this week? Really good. Really good. I think we'll shut them out. So we'll see. Your number one source for sports, 97.1. The Fan. Fan.